Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Last week, I made these pigeon leg copper earrings, which you might have seen in my recent reel. I absolutely love the patina I added to them, but it got me thinking, why not change the color of the hooks too? So for today's video, I'll be anodizing these titanium hooks to match the earrings. I choose titanium because it's hypoallergenic, making it perfect for sensitive ears. Plus, the cool thing about titanium is that you can color it using just electricity. I was actually inspired by another electroformer who did this. She's an amazing artist, and I thought it'd be a great technique to share with you all. I put the link for her Instagram in the description, so please go check her amazing work. Now let's dive in and start this project. Anodizing titanium is actually pretty simple. First, I've prepared a solution using baking soda and water. I just gave it a good stir until it dissolved. For the electrode, I'm using a stainless steel bar. This is the cathode, and it must be connected to the negative pole. Then, the titanium pieces I want to color, like these hooks, will be connected to the positive. This setup creates the perfect conditions to start adding some beautiful colors to the titanium. To provide the current, I'm using a 30 volts, 5 amps adjustable power supply. This is perfect for controlling the voltage, which is the key to get different colors on the titanium. Different voltages give you different tones, so I'll experiment a bit to see what color works best for these hooks. I did three different tests to see what colors will appear. At 10 volts, the titanium turned into a nice yellow. At 20 volts, it shifted to purple. And at 30 volts, I got this beautiful blue. Even though the colors I got at 10, 20, and 30 volts were nice, I wasn't totally satisfied with them. So I decided to try pushing the voltage higher. I set up a 220 volts to 110 volts transformer, connected with a small voltage regulator that I made myself. But to be honest, this experiment didn't go as planned. I tried setting it to 40, 50, and even 60 volts, but the results were pretty inconsistent. Here I'm trying with 40 volts, looks like a feeble rainbow. And at 50, nothing changed. In the end, it just wasn't giving me the results I was hoping for. And it was also a little dangerous, so don't try this at home unless you're experienced with electrical work. So instead of trying to rig up something like this, you're better off buying a power supply that can reach 60 volts or higher. That's what I should have done in the first place. Maybe I'll invest in one for future projects. Since this experiment didn't quite work out, I decided to go back to the original setup. Out of the colors I tested earlier, I really liked the purple I got at 20 volts. It's the darkest and feels like the best match for these earrings. So, I'm going to anodize the hooks in this beautiful purple. And there we have it. I'm really happy with how the color turned out. It's not perfect, but it has a dark similarity to the earrings. I think it looks great. Thanks all of you for watching this video. If you've enjoyed it, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this. And if you want to make these same earrings, the 3D printable files are available on my website. Always be creative, and I will see you in the next one.